Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Zen Buddhism with a story that captures the essence of achieving inner peace. It's all about quieting the constant chatter in our minds and finding that space of stillness. The Zen story of Empty Your Cup offers a powerful metaphor for achieving inner peace and clarity. Let's delve deeper into the story's message and explore how it can guide us towards emptying our minds. The Overflowing Cup, a metaphor for our busy minds. Kenji's mind, filled with anxieties, worries, and a thirst for knowledge, is likened to an overflowing cup. This image resonates with all of us who struggle with mental clutter. Our minds are bombarded with information, to-do lists, worries about the future, and regrets about the past. This constant mental chatter hinders our ability to focus, be present, and experience true peace. The Zen master's point is that a mind brimming with thoughts has no room for new experiences or insights. It's like trying to pour more water into an already overflowing cup. It simply spills over and creates a mess. Emptying the cup, making space for stillness. The act of emptying the cup doesn't imply complete mental blankness. It's not about erasing all thoughts or memories. Instead, it's about creating space within our minds. Here's how the story helps us understand this concept. Letting go of attachments. Kenji's initial resistance to the idea of an empty cup stems from his attachment to his thoughts and anxieties. He believes that a full cup represents knowledge and learning. The master challenges this notion by suggesting that true wisdom comes from a clear mind, one that can observe and learn without clinging to thoughts. Focus on the present moment. The tea ceremony serves as a beautiful example of mindful presence. The master's deliberate movements encourage Kenji to focus on the present moment. The act of pouring the tea rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Non-judgmental observation. Learning to observe our thoughts without judgment is key to emptying the cup. Imagine watching leaves floating down a stream. You don't try to control them, you simply observe their movement. Similarly, meditation teaches us to observe our thoughts without getting caught up in them. The practice, cultivating a still mind. The story doesn't just offer a metaphor. It provides a path towards achieving a more peaceful and clear mind. Here are some practices inspired by the story. Meditation. Meditation is the cornerstone of Zen practice. By focusing on your breath and observing your thoughts without judgment, you create space within your mind. Even a few minutes of daily meditation can significantly impact your mental clarity and reduce stress. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being present in the moment. Engage in activities that require your full attention, like walking in nature, listening to music, or savoring a meal. By focusing on your senses, you quiet the mental chatter and experience the world around you more fully. Letting go, learn to let go of worries, anxieties, and negative thoughts. Imagine them as leaves floating down a stream, flowing away from you. Gratitude. Shifting your focus to what you're grateful for helps create a positive mental state. Take a few minutes each day to reflect on the things you're thankful for. Benefits of emptying the cup. By emptying your cup, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities. Here are some potential benefits. Reduce stress and anxiety. When your mind is clear, you're less likely to be overwhelmed by worries and anxieties. Increased focus and productivity. With less mental clutter, you can focus more effectively on the task at hand, leading to increased productivity. Improved creativity. A still mind is fertile ground for creativity. When you're not constantly bombarded with thoughts, new ideas can flow more freely. Enhanced relationships. A clear mind allows you to be more present in your relationships and connect with others on a deeper level. Greater appreciation for life. By quieting the mental chatter, you can cultivate a sense of gratitude for the simple joys in life. Remember, emptying the cup is a journey, not a destination. Just like Kenji, learning to empty your mind takes time and practice. There will be days when your mind feels like a swirling storm again, 
Be patient with yourself. The key is to keep practicing and returning to the present moment. The Zen story of Empty Your Cup is a timeless reminder that true peace and wisdom lie within us. By learning to quiet the mind and create space, we can experience the world with greater clarity, appreciation, and peace. So, take a deep breath and begin your journey of emptying your cup.